Hello, this is Brad, and I am with Midcontinent Public Library. Welcome to Getting Started with Pandora. Today, we are going to take a look at this popular online radio app that can allow us to search for and discover music. There's all kinds of music from brand new to old favorites. Pandora now features many popular podcasts as well. It's simple and free to use, as long as you're okay with watching some ads. So let's go ahead and get started. I am first going to need to navigate to a web browser. I'm going to use Firefox today. And then in our search bar, I am just going to look for Pandora. And I want this first option. It is pandora.com. I will need to accept cookies. And it is a little misleading when we first start here. It seems like we're going to be able to look for and listen to music without signing into an account. If I went ahead and looked for the monkeys, it would give me some recommendations just off of the word the. But I'm going to look for the monkeys. And there I see them. And then I also see some results for their albums below that, and some songs as well. But I'm going to start by clicking on the artist. And so I want to listen to the Monkees Radio. This is going to play monkey songs and related tunes, so I am going to select this. And before it lets me listen to anything, it is going to make me create an account. So I will need to do that, enter all of this information, and then sign up. And then once I have done so, I can select that same play button. And after watching an ad, of course, it will then allow me to play the Monkees radio station. And I am going to see intermittent ads because I am using the free version of Pandora. And our song begins playing. We actually won't be able to hear any songs today, but I'm just going to point out everything for you. Here we see the song that is being played. Here is our play button. This is our repeat button. If I select that once, it will repeat this song. And since I am on the monkeys page, if I select this next arrow, it will just begin playing me another monkeys song. And I can tell it is taking me down this list of their top songs. If I wanted to switch that up, I could select my shuffle button over here. And this would not play the songs in any kind of order. And so I can see these top songs right here. I can view more by selecting the view all button. If I go back, I can see albums here. I can select View All Albums as well. And if I want to listen to an album in its entirety, all I have to do is select it. And then I can listen to this album all the way through. I just click this play button and it will begin taking me through this album's track list. And if I skip ahead, it will just skip to the next song in the album. Shuffle will just shuffle the songs within this album. I should also point out there is a volume control option over here. And right next to that, it tells me the time duration of my song. And if I go to a song, I can see that I have these dots that appear over on the right hand side. And if I go over there, I have some options. I can actually make my own playlist. So if I wanted to add this to a playlist, I could hover here and then select New Playlist over to the left-hand side, and it will begin a playlist for me. I can name it up here, and then I can use this magnifying glass to look for more songs to add to my playlist. It gives me some recommended songs too, so even if I wasn't sure what I wanted, I could find some similar songs here. 
And if I really wanted some help, I could select my Add Similar Songs button, and this will add a handful of songs to my playlist. So I could build my entire playlist this way. And so I'm going to go back to the Monkeys page by selecting the Monkeys here. And so besides albums, here at the bottom we see that fans of the Monkeys also enjoy these groups here. So they give me some recommendations for artists. I'm now going to search for another artist, this time Taylor Swift. Just to show you, there are old artists and there are artists that are releasing brand new music. So here we see Taylor's releases and songs, albums. And I am going to select this Speak Now Taylor's version album. And earlier we saw how we can make a playlist from a song, but also from our More Options menu. I can start a radio station based on this artist or even based on this song, which is what I'm going to do now. And so now, instead of a playlist or listening to this album, I am actually using Pandora's radio feature. I am now going to click the Now Playing option. And this is kind of the most familiar aspect of Pandora, is its radio feature. And so now we are listening to this Taylor Swift radio station. I have some extra options down here. If I select the next arrow, it might take me to a Taylor Swift song or it might take me to a song by another artist. This could be a recommendation that they made based upon Taylor Swift. And so now we are seeing the music discovery side of Pandora. I have some other options along here as well. Right now I have my station, but if I wanted to, I could listen to some of these other options. Crowd of favorites, this shows other songs that people have liked on Pandora. If I want to discover some new music, I can use Discovery. If I want to hear some deep cuts from this artist, I would select the Deep Cuts option. That's going to play some songs from Taylor Swift that I might not hear all the time. Below that, we have the newly released songs. This is going to show us the newest songs that this artist has put out. And then Artist Only. This will ensure that I only hear Taylor Swift songs. So even if I select the next button, I'm only going to hear Taylor Swift songs. And now that we are in the radio feature, we do see some different buttons down here. We have a thumbs up. This is what we select if we like the song. And if we don't like it, we select the thumbs down. This will inform Pandora of what we enjoy and what we do not enjoy, so it can better recommend us different songs. Here I am in my collection. Here's my Taylor Swift station. Here's my playlist. And from this, we can kind of see that stations are good if you want to discover new music. Playlists are nice if you just want to listen to songs that you know you already love. So within stations here, I can actually select this shuffles station and it will play both my Taylor Swift station and my Monkees radio station. And so here we see it is going to play me both Taylor Swift songs and songs by the Monkees. And so that is going to give me some good variety. Under podcasts, I don't have anything selected, but Pandora does have a nice selection of podcasts available. I could browse for podcasts down here, or up top here there is a browse button, and this will give me browsing options for music as well. Here I see some artists that they recommend to me. Here is some new music by artists that I might enjoy. Some playlists. And then down here we see some podcasts. To play a podcast, I just simply select it. And they have all the different episodes of this podcast available. I can add this podcast to my collection so I can look at it later on. And so those are some ways we can use Pandora. We can enjoy songs that we already know. We can discover new music that is related to artists that we like. And we can even look at podcasts as well. We have been looking at the free version today. But if I select Upgrade, 
I can see the different options we have. Obviously, we've seen that the free version has quite a few fun features, but if I was interested, there are these other options as well. And so that is a little brief look at Pandora, the great online radio station app that allows us to listen to our favorites and discover new artists as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our MCPL360 Facebook page. We premiere new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And if you miss the premiere on Facebook, you can watch all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our MCPL Mo YouTube channel. This has been Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.